former Congress President Sonia Gandhi demanded that the Women Reservation Bill must be enacted immediately while pitching for OBC quota within reserved seats as she declared her party support for the bill in the Lok Sabha. The leader of the Congress in the Lok Sabha, Adhiranjan Chaudhary, raised concerns over the alleged attack on the Constitution by saying that new copies of the Constitution that were handed to the politicians on the opening day of the new Parliament building don't have the word socialist, secular. Kani Mozi said that the government replied to her questions of women's bill, stating that all stakeholders and political parties needed to be involved for consensus. Security forces gunned down two terrorists in JNK's Garol Forest. The week-long joint anti-terror operation in Garol Forest in the Anantnag district ended after seven days on Tuesday with two terrorists, including lashkar e taiba commander Zair Khan, being neutralized. As per internal probe, Jadav University Dean of Students had failed to understand the gravity of the situation in the hostel even after a resident alerted him over the phone about the trouble in the main hostel on the night of August 9, hours before a first-year student fell to his death. A teacher of a private college in Uttar Pradesh was killed while seven persons, including three children, were seriously injured by unknown assailants during a robbery bit at a teacher's house in Shah Jahanpur. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan has once again raised the Kashmir issue, saying that resolving it through dialogue by India and Pakistan will lead to regional stability. With still no signs of truce amid the raging armed conflict with Russia, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, while accusing Moscow of being the aggressor and, and perpetrating genocide in his homeland, proposed a peace formula at the 78th session of the UNGA. As per reports, weeks before making explosive allegations implicating Indian officials in the killing of six separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar, Canadian officials sought public condemnation of the murder from their allies, including the United States, but were met with reluctance. Former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, recently addressed a party meeting in Lahore where he questioned why Pakistan was seeking financial aid from around the world, while India has achieved significant milestones, such as reaching the moon and hosting the G20 summit. A suspected quadruple murder shocked a suburban Chicago community after police found an Illinois couple, their two young children and their three dogs shot dead inside their home. A magnitude 6.0 earthquake struck near Geraldine in the center of the New Zealand South Island. Government seismic monitor GeoNet said, but initial reports indicate no injuries or significant damage. Six for Justice, a pro-Khalistan organization banned in India in 2019, has threatened Hindus of Indian origin and asked them to leave Canada for supporting the country of their origin and promoting violence by celebrating Khalistani leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar's killing.